Hey everybody, I am so sorry I'm running a little late. I am getting uh, the audio fixed. Uh, there was a problem with the audio and uh, there's a problem with the Jimbo he needs to play. So I'm gonna get some play in for Jimbo so he doesn't isn't too crazy, but let me know how the audio sounds in uh, the comments. I can see ya. Um, hi guys. Okay, be on in just a little sec. A little sec. Okay, you ready, Jimbo? Well, you better get ready, because it's showtime, baby. Love you, too. Hello, everybody. God, Jimbo, you were in position and everything. Oh, well. 
That's okay, that's okay. He just wanted a little bit of uh, Jules time, and that's all right. Are you gonna go place him back into his little home? Well, thank you. Hi, everybody, welcome to the stream. Happy Friday. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Nether live stream, nether crochet along. Hope everybody's doing great. Jules is having difficulty getting Jimbo into places. Places, everybody, places. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. <laughs> um, hello, everybody. Yeah, go ahead. Flood the flood the screen with hearts. I'll I'll take it, Annabeth. Hi, everybody. Okay, so today we are going to be crocheting our probably I think maybe the largest pattern in this seasonal kit. Uh, our anglerfish pattern. It's going to be, I think, what are we on? The fourth or fifth or sixth or maybe even seventh crocheted thing for this season. So it, we are kind of rocking and rolling. We still have a whole nother, what, month and a half. So we're, we're pretty much at the halfway point now. So that's kind of cool. Um, okay, so let's talk about all the things that you need to crochet along with me if you want to. Um, or you can just crochet whatever you want. We'll talk about different ways you can support the channel if you're interested in supporting us. And then we'll get crocheting. Uh, this is going to be a two-part live stream, meaning this is going to be part one, where we're gonna make as much as we can. I'm gonna try to go till about three, maybe 3.30, find a good stopping point, and then we'll come back um, next week to finish up the anglerfish pattern. Um, yeah, I think that's about everything. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, by the way, that, 3, 3.30, that's my time. Uh, it's going to be about two hours, maybe two and a half hours for this live stream. Um, okay, so first thing that we want to talk about is uh, where to get the pattern itself. So this is what we're going to be making today. Um, we're going to be making a customized version of this that you're going to be helping me uh, to customize by giving me input on colors, hats, and uh, face types, and stuff like that. But if you want to get this pattern for a crocheted anglerfish, we call this Angie the anglerfish. Uh, oh, wow, Kema. Um, can you please email me, Kema? Uh, Kema said that they ordered their kit a month ago and they're still waiting for it. That shouldn't be the case. They should get there within three to five days. So please uh, reach out to me in via email. You can reach out at contact at clubcrochet.com. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to get that sorted. So yeah, please email me. Um, Okay, so this pattern is actually not originally designed by myself. It's designed by another Amigurumi artist that goes by Sir Pearl Gray. He also is known as Philip. Uh, you might have seen his work before. We've done a lot of things with him, uh, including like Gulliver from Animal Crossing, uh, the reversible uh, Corgi. That's his pattern. Uh, we, I like to do collaborations with, uh, with Philip all the time. Uh, he's a good friend of mine and... I absolutely loved this pattern. I thought it was so unique, so interesting for an anglerfish. But if you want to crochet this along with me, you can find the pattern right here at clubcrochet.com slash under the sea. That's where you can find all the patterns in this season's theme. J Jules is having fun with Jimbo over there. <laughs> um, uh, you can also find it by going to clubcrochet.com slash angler. I think that is correct. Um, or you can just search it on the website. The pattern is available with a, I think with a membership level account. Um, it might be a free video, but I'm not completely sure. Uh, so yeah, anyhow, that's where you can find the pattern if you'd like to crochet along with me. There's a full length video tutorial for it that I made. Uh, so you won't, we won't be going through detailed instructions in this video. Uh, so if you want to access all the pattern part, you know, check it out right here. In addition to that, you're going to need the materials, of course. Let's start with the tools that we're gonna to be using. I'm gonna be using a size G four millimeter crochet hook today for our yarn. You wanna use any size uh, hook that works best with the yarn that you're gonna be using, um, but we're gonna be using worsted weight cotton yarn today, so a four millimeter size G six crochet hook is best for us. You'll need a pair of scissors uh, for, you know, the whole cutting and stuff. <laughs> You'll need a darning needle. I like using a crimped end darning needle to sew in ends, uh, which is going to be especially important for this pattern because there's actually kind of a lot of things to sew together uh, for this pattern. 
For our materials themselves, we're going to be working out of our new seasonal crochet kit that is available now. I believe you can find links in the description for where you can uh, purchase one yourself. Uh, you having fun over there? <laughs> Definitely not distracting at all. <laughs> um, you can get one of these kits. It's a great way to support this channel monetarily. Uh, but it also comes with a bunch of materials to make everything that we've been making throughout this season. Uh, as you can see, we've been kind of working through it. Uh, it comes with a pin if you get it with an annual pass, which also is the cheapest way to purchase this kit. Uh, but obviously we won't be needing the pin today. But let's keep looking at all the materials that we're going to need today. We're going to be voting on a color. I'll go ahead and put that into the poll in just a second. But we're going to be voting on the main color for our angler fish um, between... I think we should just go between these three colors because we've been using a lot of cyan for a bunch of different projects um, based on your vote, your votes. But I think we'll vote between pink. We actually haven't used the pink at all yet in our live stream, so that's kind of interesting. Pink, the teal, which might actually be a really cool angler fish, uh, or the purple. Um, you'll also need black for the inside of the mouth. You'll need some white, that's going to be for the teeth. You'll need some safety eyes. We won't be using the eight millimeter eyes today. We'll actually be using the six millimeter eyes, which I think I already removed from this kit. So I'll go find those. And then you'll need some of our yellow. We've been saving this yellow specifically for this project. So now is your chance to open your yellow yarn out, uh, up. Um, okay, I think that's all the material. Oh yes, that's right. We also will need one of these pipe cleaners. So yeah, I'm not gonna open this whole bag, but because I got one already ready to go right here. But you'll need a single pipe cleaner. That's gonna be for the angler fish's um, lantern. I think that's what I call it in the pattern. Uh, but yeah, those are all the materials that you're going to need today. Uh, let's go ahead and vote on the different colors. We're gonna vote between, um, this is gonna be for the main color of our angler fish. We're gonna be voting between pink, uh, teal and purple. Let me go ahead and get that into the chat right now. So if you would like to vote, go ahead and vote in the chat. Put, put it right here. Start a poll. What should our main color be? Pink? Okay, so the poll is out there. You go ahead and vote now on that. While you're voting on that, while you're voting on that, <laughs> I don't know why I got an accent there. Uh, I'd like to talk about how you can support this channel if you would like to support us monetarily. You want to help with that, Jimbo? Is he in a spot? No, what are you doing, weirdo? Man, I wish you could see Jimbo right now. He's being very cute. Anyhow, sorry about that. Uh, if you'd like to support us monetarily, uh, there's a few ways to do so. Um, the first is the free cheap option. So it's not technically monetarily, but it does really help this channel out. And that is just to like this video down below and subscribe to the channel. If this video gets 250 likes, that's quite a lot, 250. We're gonna do another giveaway next live stream because we actually did unlock a giveaway in this live stream by liking last week's video to 200 likes. So if you wanna enter this giveaway, you can check out the link in the description, but we're not talking about that yet. We're talking about how to support monetarily. If you wanna support us monetarily, uh, here's the best way is with a Club Crochet membership. Members get early access to future patterns. They get access to the exclusive library of tutorials. I add new ones every single month, really every single week, every other week, pretty much. Uh, there are a lot of them. I think there's over 300 patterns and video tutorials available in on the website of just a whole variety. This season, we've been adding a whole bunch of under the sea themed patterns. So like jellyfish, whales, uh, obviously angler, angler fish, seahorses, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, if you want to learn more about that, you can find uh, learn more about how to become a member at just by going to clubcrochet.com. But a membership really is the best way to support monetarily. If you want to support monetarily in other ways, you can purchase merch and kits in the store. We've got things like little pins. We've got this cute little Jimbo pin that I'm ultra super proud of. It's so cute. Uh, I believe there's links to some of these in the description. Um, but you can also find them by going to clubcrochet.com slash shop. 
Uh, we have also got stickers um, and then kits. A really, a really, really good way to support this channel if you're like, man, I want to support this channel monetarily and I really want to support them monetarily. Get an annual pass. Annual passes get you four kits throughout the year for our seasonal kits so you can crochet along with us, um, including our exclusive Amigurumi cotton yarn that is super duper cool that you're seeing us use right now. It is currently the only way to get this yarn. So not only is it a great way to support, but you also get exclusive stuff. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, oh, I need to vote on which color. Whoo, it is a close vote right now. So go vote in the chat for what color to be using. By the way, okay, um, okay, where was I? Where was I? Ba -ba -ba, kits. Oh yeah, an annual pass. It's like the best way to support monetarily. It gets you a bunch of kits. It also gets you a full year of membership to the website. So it's a great, uh, great value in my opinion. But also, it's a great way to support this channel. Um, yeah. So that is all the ways to support. Oh, except for the one last way. If you really like to support monetarily this live stream specifically, you can support by tipping by going to clubcrochet.com slash tip. There's a link in the description. If you tip, I'm going to add something to the background, which we will later add to, I don't know how this looks. So pardon me if this is super dark and it is because I only can do so much. Hold on. I can fix this. Boom, and then boom. Look at that. Oh. So if you support, we're gonna be adding to our, uh, 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 what's this called? Fishbowl. If this fishbowl gets completely filled up with support, we're gonna be doing a gigantinormous giveaway for a whole crochet kit, a seasonal crochet kit. So it is gonna be pretty dope. Uh, and yeah, if you'd like to support, that's the best way, to, or that's another way to do so, we should say. Um, okay. Oh, Annabeth. Okay, thank you for your question, Annabeth. Let me get to that in just a second. Uh, but let's go ahead. I'm going to get started crocheting um, while I answer Annabeth's question. Uh, we're going to be starting with the fins, which means we are going to need to know our main color. Um, good thing is we are on here. On an odd number of votes, which means that we'll probably get the right one. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Awesome. We're going to be using teal today. I'm actually really excited for that. That does make a really good angler fish. Um, we're going to need a secondary color. I'm going to make the executive decision and go with ooh, pink or cyan, pink or cyan, pink or cyan, pink or cyan. Oh, I can't decide. I can't decide now. Oh, should I vote on that? No, 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 no. I need to I need to to make my own decisions here. I think we should go with pink. I think we should go oh, But cyan would look really good, wouldn't it? Okay, wait. Okay, wait. So what I'm trying to choose right now is our secondary color right here. So teal is going to be this main color. So the secondary color, oopsies. Oh, cyan would look really cool. Okay, we got two for cyan, one for pink. I'll tell you what, just comment in the chat right now. The first one to get to five, we're gonna go with. Okay, it's a tie, three, three. They've, it's got a win by two. Pink, pink? Okay, we got a lot of pinks. One more pink and we got it. Ooh, shoot, cyan's back in the race. All right, Juniper. Oh, Jun Juniper, you can't vote twice. Come on, we need another chat here. Okay, oh my gosh, we got a tie game. We got a tie game. Uh-oh, Cyan's in the lead. Oh, ah! Oh. Okay, it's gonna be Cyan. Man, what a, oh. Oh my God, it is really 50-50 here. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna do another vote. I, I can't do it, I can't do it. There's too, it's too close. Just a quick vote, pink or cyan. Go ahead and vote. Go ahead. I, you know what? This makes it easier anyhow. Uh, while that's happening though, while you guys are voting between pink and cyan, I will get started on the teeth. There's quite a lot of teeth to make. So I know I'm gonna be using white for the teeth. So let's go ahead. 
I'll make a few of our little tiny teeth right now just to get this out of the way. Um, we can also zoom in a bit, I think. I don't think we need to go so far out. One, two, three. Are we going to be using the back loops today or the top loops? Let's just use the top loops today. I'm going to make this a little bit different, a little bit easier. It might be a little floppier for the teeth, but you know what? I think that's going to be okay. I think that's going to be okay. There's one tooth already done. Wow. Who would have known that I was going to be an anglerfish? dentist today it's gonna get really dental when we get to sewing it on too that's gonna get we're gonna be orthopedic surgeons <laughs> um okay okay i what there was something i really wanted to talk to you guys about today but i can't remember what it is um someone asked where oh that's right someone asked a, an important question in the chat but I totally forgot it already, so I need to go back and look at what that was. There we go. We got two teeth. Notice how I like give it a little pinch at the tip just to make sure it like boop makes it kind of like a sharp tooth because you know this guy's a little spooky. This gal is a little spooky, I should say. I do like the cotton candy idea there. Okay, okay. So Annabeth asks, uh, it never remembers you when you sign up. Uh, that should just be you. Uh, you shouldn't need to keep making uh, accounts for the website. Annabeth, um, please email me. Contact at clubcrochet.com and we'll get that sorted. Uh, because that really shouldn't be the problem. Oh my god, it is the closest. It's, cr it's currently 50-50 vote right now for pink versus cyan. So it feels like we can't go wrong. Oh my gosh, Annabeth, I love the idea of doing one gold tooth. I probably will do that. Um, that's a really good idea. Is it still tied? Oh my God, it's perfectly tied right now. 50-50. Okay, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get, we can't let it be 50-50, right? I'm glad to do this poll so we can see how really tied of a vote it is. Um, but yes, Annabeth, please email. Uh, you shouldn't have to do be doing that login every single time. So I'd really like to sort that out, figure out what's wrong, and see if anybody else is having that problem too so that I can uh, fix that on the website ASAP. Um, oh yes, okay, so one thing I wanted to talk about was the anglerfish. Uh, did you know that what we're crocheting right now is definitely a female anglerfish? Because male anglerfish actually look way way different than uh fem than male anglerfish look way different than female anglerfish it's called um sexual diversity i think that's what it's called i can't remember the name of, of the biological system here but basically male anglerfish are really tiny so if this is the female anglerfish male anglerfish are like this big they're really really tiny and what there's a whole bunch of weird science that comes to it but they have like the craziest way to breed where they actually the male anglerfish will attach itself to the female anglerfish and start to mold into its body it's like skin and stuff will actually mold into the female anglerfish's body and then it'll basically be like a little like the mobile sperm sack it's like really weird it's they they have the craziest anatomy ever you should really learn more about them look watch a video about them they're crazy they're really crazy uh very very interesting uh creatures Ooh, unrelated nathaniel hey nathaniel how you doing dude uh nathaniel asks by the way looks like in the picture you've got a very nice beard so congratulations on being able to grow a very nice beard um <laughs> uh the question was completely unrelated um are am i planning on making a video on how to make terrain for stitch that is definitely a plan but it's kind of been a plan for quite a long time and i haven't done it yet so the truth is it is a plan i don't know when i'm gonna get to it i would expect 
it won't be done till like next year just based on all the things that i have to do this year but it is a plan i do intend on doing that okay let's end this vote how many votes was it sexual dimorphism that's what it's called thank you whoever said that um 35 votes oh my god it was 51 for cyan 48 percent for pink so cyan won by the tiniest itsiest bis bitsiest margin and look at that we already got all the teeth done too so that's kind of cool we can zoom out just a little bit i think um anglerfish are super creepy mickey cricky absolutely by the way hi mickey cricky how are you hope you're having a great day okay so it looks like we start actually in color b which seems crazy to me three four four okay i will trust past blue slash philip i trust you guys three and four yeah and we'll just go through these top loops just like we did with the teeth today by the way i showed you guys this last week but check out how cute my ring is isn't that cute me and my fiance got our engagement slash wedding rings and we just decided to start wearing them <laughs> they're just so cute it's kind of our catch-all but doesn't it look nice it looks like it's supposed to look like little chain stitches I, I love it. I love it. Next time Jules is around, I'll have to have her come over and show you her ring. Because it's very, very cute. Way cuter than mine. Skip the chain and we'll do a single crochet. Two, one. And two. And then we're going to increase one and change to our main teal color. One. Two. I'll leave a little bit longer of a end here so that I can hide this color end in too. We'll just go like this. One, two. Yeah. So we're gonna go like that. That is the goal. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so one is just four all the way across okay and we'll just hide the end all the way to the end we'll hide the end to the end yeah you heard me right one two three and four and we'll chain one cool cut a somewhat long end pull that through and then we'll cut these two ends too perfect Okay, so now we have got one of our small fins done. Obviously, we need two fins, and then we'll need one tail fin, but that looks actually really good. Wow. Those colors are really good together, guys. It was a close vote, but I have to say that is a good, we made a good choice. I really, really like these colors together. Uh, by the way, I'm working on color packs right now for our, uh, for the shop. So. If you have been around wondering, like, are you gonna be able to sell colors, like just yarn soon? Yes, I will be. I've been working on it. Uh, they should be in the store um, by the end of the month. Uh, but really in just a few, probably in just a few days, they'll be up in the, sh in the store. So if you've been waiting, uh, yeah, they're coming soon. I should crochet a blobfish. Oh, I love that idea. That's a really good idea. Uh, Five Worlds Explorer. Cosmo asks, uh, have I seen the picture for the Club Crochet Challenge yet? I haven't, but that is a great reminder. I will check that out after the live stream, but thank you for reminding me, Cosmo. Cosmo brings up a good point, and that is that the Club Crochet Challenge is on right now. If you would like to enter the newest Club Crochet Challenge and get uh, have a chance to win the and uh, ne next season's kit, which is going to be um, the holiday hookups kit, which will include a bunch of different uh, crochet patterns for um, holiday themed patterns. So that whether that be Halloween or Thanksgiving or Christmas, it'll be very folly um, 
and holiday themed patterns. Uh, but you will get a chance to win that kit if you want to enter the Club Crochet Challenge. You can learn more by just going to clubcrochet.com slash challenge. Uh, I kind of wish that, I guess Cooper's not here because Cooper would be pumping it in the chat right now. So I'll go ahead and do that myself instead. Um, where, oh, half a dozen reasons has a very good question and I will get to their question in just a second. Let me do this challenge, send. There you go, that's where you can enter the challenge. Um, half a dozen reasons asks, I have, I don't have a Discord or an Instagram. How do I go upon submitting a picture for the Club Crochet Challenge? There are a few different options. Um, like uh, Nathaniel said, you can post to Reddit. Uh, we're, it's technically not in the rules, but you can post to Reddit. The only thing is, please let me know. Um, send me directly. Uh, send us an email with your submission so that we know it's your submission. So if you want to enter the the um, uh, the challenge, but you don't have a Reddit or Discord, email us um, at contact at clubcrochet.com. That's going to be your best way to make sure that you are entered into the challenge. Um, but preferably, if you can, post it to Instagram or Discord uh, if you have those accounts but you know you don't have to make one just to just to join the challenge i understand personally like i wouldn't want to make a new social media account if i didn't have the other ones already there's enough social media out there i get it <laughs> how are jules and jack and the cats they are all doing great uh jules is doing a okay uh just you know working and getting we're getting our life together we're starting to look about um uh getting married soon and finding a house and all this other fun stuff you know adult things so we're figuring that stuff out jack is doing okay he did eat a really weird beetle the other day and has had an allergic reaction uh so he's getting better um, Jack, by the way, is Jack Gurgle, our crocheted uh, goblin puppet. So I am lying about everything that I'm saying right now. But <laughs> but don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, yes, thank you. Uh, thank you, Cosmo. Yeah, please uh, send it to me so I don't forget to check it out. Cooper! Cooper is here. Cooper, we were just asking about you. How you doing, bud? Okay, we did the two small fins. We've got our tiny teeth done already. Next up, we're going to be making the tail fin, which we're going to start with color B for, and then go from there. Okay, let's think. What other things do we need to vote on for this anglerfish? I think that all the votes today... I don't know if we have too many other votes today. Let me let me just think it through here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, and five, and then we'll skip, and then we'll keep going from there. Because, let's see, the things we will definitely be voting on is we want to vote on um, how to, or like what kind of additional thing to sew onto the top of our anglerfish. So, you know, like a hat. Um, and then we need to vote on... What else do we need to vote on? Maybe we could do facial expressions, but there's not too many facial expressions you can realistically make on for this pattern, just because it is like, you know, you gotta make the mouth, you gotta make the eyes, and there's not a lot of room for wiggle room there. But yeah, any other things? Oh, the name, of course. We're gonna end up voting on the name and taking name suggestions, so that is a good thing to think about but all those things will be probably saved for next live stream realistically let me know if you think of any other ways we could customize our anglerfish uh, that includes a poll um, and a question for y'all a second lantern that's funny mutated a mutated anglerfish an unglerfish um, okay, we need to change now to our 
color A, or to our teal. And we'll just do the same thing that we've been doing for the other fins too. For the tail fin. Ooh, an eye patch is a great, that's a great start. That's a great start. Hey, Samantha, how are you? Thank you for joining. A gold tooth would be pretty fun. I suppose we could vote for a gold tooth today, even though we might not be sewing it on till next week, but it is a good thought for sure. It could be holding a lantern. We probably should do, maybe we could do a male anglerfish too as like a surprise end of the, um, end of the live stream pattern if we go fast enough. But no promises just because I don't know how long this is gonna take me. I think in the past it's not, it hasn't taken me that long, but you know, you never know. You know, you never know. You know how you never know, you know. Just cut this yarn right there. So I started getting um, acupuncture. It's very strange. Uh, never gotten acupuncture before, but my back pain is starting to come back. And I've tried like everything, you know, I've done yoga, I've done um, physical therapy and, and I stand all the time and I, I stretch and I'm careful, but it doesn't seem to matter. My back pain is coming back with a vengeance. So I decided let's try something different and try uh, acupuncture. So many friends have told me, you got to try it. It worked for me. It worked for me. And I've been very skeptical because I've never had it before. And it sounds like what how would that how's that gonna work uh but i did start it and i actually just did a session um earlier today and they poked me a bunch but the weird thing is so they're they're i'm doing acupuncture for my lower back right so you'd think okay maybe they're gonna do acupuncture like in the lower back and stuff like that but no where i got acupuncture they they put needles in my finger right here in my finger over here somewhere and then on my legs isn't that crazy i was like how weird is that Ooh, a yoga ball instead of a chair interesting ivy that is a good good idea i think i will give that a shot actually because my chair is not i bought a special chair that was supposed to be like ergonomic it is not ergonomic it is a bad it's a bad chair it's just a very slippery chair. All right, large tooth number one done. We want seven of these big old teeth. Um, we'll go ahead and put them on the right side so we don't get them mixed up with the small teeth. But we're really, we're like kind of flying right now. We've got our fins done, our teeth done. Did I crochet a lot today? No, this is actually the first that I'm crocheting today, Samantha. How about yourself? By the way, what are you guys making? Anybody else crocheting in the chat? Uh, anybody making an anglerfish? Anybody making something completely different? Uh, a different pattern from the seasonal kit, perhaps? Or maybe just a different pattern completely? Are my live streams every Friday now? Uh, they might be, they might not be. I don't know. I, I decided to try doing the Friday live streams again because we had a pretty good turnout last week. And, uh, you know, I want to give other people opportunities to see the live streams that can't make it to the Thursday streams. So I decided, yeah, let's do another Friday one and I'll do another Friday one next week as well. So we'll do Fridays obviously today and then uh next week we'll do friday at 1 p.m as well just to you know start to start to mix it up a bit um and then i want to start doing um other kinds of live streams too soon like well i you know i've been talking about that for a long time so i really want to get that going um okay let's see what are people making here aaron is making a blanket using scrap wool wow that must be a lot of scrap wool <laughs> Uh, Twiz is making bumble numbs? What is a bumble num, Twiz? That is an interesting, that, that is an interesting. 
Yeah, see, Cosmo, that is the explanation that I've gotten for acupuncture before. They said that basically certain parts on your body affect other parts on your body. And I get that, like that does make sense, but I still don't understand how a little tiny needle changes. Like, you know what I mean? It just seems so weird to me. Um, like, is it severing a nerve or is it just like activating? I just don't get it. I don't get it. Anybody have a good video to, uh, ex explanation on how acupuncture works and why it works? Highly, I, I would love to read it. Um, uh, and then Ivy said something about a massage therapist. Oh my God, massage therapist is the best. I haven't found a new massage therapist. I want to find a really good one because the one I had in San Francisco was the best and would fix me up real fast but I moved and now I can't see her anymore and now my back hurts again uh Doris is making an angler fish also dope Doris are you doing the same colors or are you doing it something a little bit different I'm so curious Bumble Nums are on YouTube. Oh, it's like a YouTube channel and you're crocheting. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Ooh, little Val is making some leg warmers. I've never made leg warmers before. That's interesting. Leg warmers. I wonder if Jules ever has ever made leg warmers. That seems like something she would do. <laughs> Ivy's like, you can go to my massage therapist, but I'm in Kansas. I'll come. Let's. I'll make a take the flight out. Oh, dude, Cooper! Thank you so much, Cooper. Cooper just added a tip, thank, and thank you for letting me know because I did have it off screen, so I really appreciate it. Uh, okay, Cooper. Let's add something for Cooper. Let's see. It's another $10 tip, so, you know, we got to do something bigger than just, like, one of those mini ones. So let's see. What can we add for Mr. Super Duper Cooper, the Ultra Pooper? Let's do... Actually, let's do a... How about we add, we got a few red octopi. You know what, let's add for Cooper a, I think this is the first one I made, a squid. This I think this is the very first squid that I made. Um, I wanted it to be kind of Mario themed, you know, like I have those eyes and like the little, the little goober thing in the front. Um, but yeah, let's add this. This is actually one of the seasonal um, patterns uh, or the patterns for the season's um, theme, by the way. it's We got octopi and squids. We're going to be focusing a lot more on octopi and squids soon. Um, but these are actually part of the Club Crochet Challenge, too. So, it, you know, that kind of works out, too. Cooper, I need you to give me two things. One, we need a name for this little dude. And two, I think we should add eyebrows to it. So, Cooper, if you would like to suggest a color of eyebrows to add to this um <laughs> to this adorable squid let me know and we'll add eyebrows on the live stream for you uh and then we'll add it to our our uh uh fish bowl later on but we'll go ahead and put our unnamed squid there for you cooper and if anybody else would like to tip uh i will do the same thing for you as well um jenny says we need a pikmin pattern i know jenny i've been so bad at that um i am you know what i will make that a much more uh a much higher priority uh this weekend um because i have other obviously other patterns that i want to do but uh i've been wanting to do this picking pattern forever the rough draft is already ready so it's it's time it's time i just need to record the video and put it all into a pdf and then edit the video and then come up with a marketing plan and then <laughs> and then and then and then but you're right. I do. I. You're completely right, Jenny. It needs to happen, and I need to put more effort into it. So I will make that a larger priority this weekend. Uh, thank you for for like, you know, poking me about that. Um, I'm always I'm always open to the pokes. 
that's that is a okay as as you can tell by me doing acupuncture um <laughs> no but seriously like i do need uh sometimes i need i need more like guidance about what i should be focusing on because sometimes it can be hard to like stay focused so i appreciate it okay so we've got seven large teeth we've got five small teeth i believe that is correct next up we want to make our fishing rod which means we're done with our white yarn i'll go ahead and throw our white yarn back into our kit um we will need our white yarn again uh for a later pattern in this season um specific well we'll need a little bit of it for the eyes for our octopi and squids but we do have a secret mystery patterns coming out that will need just a little bit of white yarn too so we're gonna save this for later put it back in the box we need a bread bug pattern from Pikmin. Oh my god, I love that. I love that. Okay, Cooper says they want blue eyebrows and they will be named Gooper Blooper. <laughs> Great. You you did you you did perfectly. That was the perfect answer, Cooper. Great job. Great job. No notes. Let's go ahead. I've got some of our blue from last seasonal crochet kit here, some extra blue yarn. So we'll use that for our eyebrows. And let's go ahead and add some eyebrows to Gooper's Gooper Blooper. Cooper's Gooper Blooper. Really quick. I think the way I can do this eyebrows is I'll just do it from the side here. Add the eyebrow and then double knot it together on the inside. Do we do one big eyebrow? No, no, that doesn't even look like an eyebrow. Let's do it like this. We'll make it like look a little bit mm, worried, or we can do questioning. I don't know. Let's let's see. Let's add this eyebrow first. Okay, that's clearly looks like an eyebrow to me, right? Especially if there's two. There's one on this side that was like, huh? You know, like a questioning eyebrow. I like I like this one though. I mean, we could go a little further down and make it very up, but then it might look like an eyelid, and we're not really looking for an eyelid. We're looking for an eyebrow. So let's go ahead. We'll just double knot this one, and we'll add another one to the other side, um, and we'll choose then how we want the eyebrow to look based on how it looked on the squid. You know, like if we want to make it questioning or skeptical or angry or whatever. I mean, angry is a little, it's a little late for angry. Can't have one eyebrow be this way and then the other eyebrow be angry. It'll be like, it'll look just confused. Okay, let's do a, let's do, he needs a Super Mario hat. Oh my gosh. I kind of like that idea, Jenny. Um, okay, let's do, let's try Let's start by trying just, yeah, I think let's, let's start by trying just like a, like a, the same eyebrow as the other side, because then maybe it'll look very, like a really sweet octopus, you know, like if you do this, you go like this, he'll look just like, like, hey, just wondering, I didn't want to, I didn't want to interrupt or anything, but I was just wondering, like, how you're doing today? Doesn't that look that looks kind of sweet, right? What do we think? Gooper blooper. What do we like? Do we like it? I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and double knot it here. And keep going on our angler fish. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you know what else I need? More of my coffee. I got breakfast this morning because I woke up way earlier than I ever do. Okay, Cooper, remind me at the end of the live stream. I need to add this to the background for you. Okay. He looks like an old man squid. I love it. Intentional. Definitely intentional. Old man squid coming at you. Oh my gosh, quick little break. This, oh my God, look at that thing in the bed. Oh my goodness. Dude, Julie, thank you so much for the support. Julie says, 
They're going to be crocheting their year of chemo starting on Monday. Through a year of chemo starting on Monday. Thanks so much for your amazing set. Oh, dude, Julie, first off. Uh, I'm so sorry that you had to go through that. That is rough. I'm so happy to know that crochet, hopefully at least, made it a little bit easier. So uh, first thing, thank you so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. But second thing is uh, congrats on a year of uh, of crochet, I think. Or maybe a more than a year of crochet. <laughs> congrats slash I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. But other than thank you for your support. Let's add something for uh, Miss Julie. Let's see, let's see. Julie, Julie, Bo Bully, Fo Fee Fi Fo Fully. Julie, Julie, Bo Bully, Julie. You know what, maybe we should, Julie, do you, would you also like a squid? You support it for the same amount. We could do eyebrows for yours as well or something different. I'll tell you what, Julie, here's what we're gonna do. Here is your squid, Julie. Very similar to Cooper's but we need to make it different. How would you like to customize this squid? If you'd like to uh, let me know in the chat. Uh, if you don't want it customized or you don't want to say anything in the chat, I totally understand. I will make executive decisions uh, if that is the case, but I'd love your ideas. Uh, we can do glasses. We could do eyebrows for this one as well. Um, we could do, really those are the main options. We could add something to their hand maybe. You know, we could add like a little tool or something. Just something that needs, give it a little bit of love. You know, give it a little bit of love. It's chemo ahead, not done. But either way, thank you. Oh, well, I'm sorry for, I'm sorry that you had to go through that. But uh, I hope it goes, I hope it goes okay. Uh, let me know, Julie, what you'd like to do to add to this. Or if you'd like me to make those kind of decisions for you. Uh, and then Tina, thank you so much for your support, Tina. Tina, I had something actually kind of ready for you. Uh, I had it right here. I was like, the first one that does a, a sh smaller than $10 tip, I'm going to have this one ready. Look at this little adorable teal octopus that I made the other day. It's so cute. This pattern, by the way, is a rough draft on the website. I'm doing a whole bunch of miniature. Uh, I'm calling them micro crochet patterns. They'll be coming out kind of soon. But um, yeah, I really, I really, really... Uh, like this little guy and he's up there for you Tina we'll add this to the background for you a little later um, okay let's start our work on um, oh man okay so this is the baby octopus make it creaky check you want to see the baby squid here I'll pull it from the from our thing from last week here's a blue here's a blue mini squid look at how adorable that is you know what's so great about these well, first off, I, I mean, I absolutely 100% love these, but they're not, there's no sewing, no sewing at all. I mean, as you could probably guess, there's not any sewing. And they're made with less than 100 um, stitches, which means that it is like just way, way easy to crochet. It's like, I'm super duper proud of the patterns. I love your feedback, by the way. Um, on those patterns. So if you want to check out the preview patterns, you need a membership level account to access the preview patterns. Um, but I am looking currently for feedback on these patterns because I want them to be absolutely perfect before I release them. Um, okay, we're gonna go to this yellow one. Uh, Julie wants sunglasses. Ooh, sunglasses might be difficult. I've never made them, but we can make it work. We could make it work. Let me go ahead and crochet this fishing rod so we keep on crocheting on. Uh, for a bit and then I'll come back and add our try to add our sunglasses if I can't do sunglasses I'll add regular glasses or um, maybe a monocle we could do either one of those um, pretty easy I think and I have officially totally tangled our yellow yarn up because I'm a goofball I, I opened it up incorrectly and now it's all tangled uh, oh, swimming goggles. That's funny. That's super funny. Okay, I'm going to rewind these up. Oh my god, Cooper, thank you so much. Cooper added a direct link for the um, for the preview pattern for those little mini octopuses directly into the chat. Ugh. Well, I'm sorry. So if you want to access those, go ahead. 
It can be Louis' choice. Thanks, Julie. I appreciate you. Thank you guys so much for the support, by the way, for the tips. I I know that that is like, I, it just, it, it means a lot. Thank you guys. Okay. Someone asked a question, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, that's what it was. Constant Crochet said that they want to research a river, but which one should they pick? They were thinking the Yangtze or the Thames River. The only one I really know is the Thames. I don't know the Yangtze River at all. Swimming goggles. Okay, okay. I think we can do swimming goggles. That sounds doable. Um, I did make some really cool... Hmm... Yeah, let me let me think let me think out let me think that through a little bit. Um, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and start crocheting our uh, angler fish. What's this called? Fishing rod, I think, is what it's called in the yeah fishing rod. One, two, three, four, five, and six to get us started. Oh, oodles and caboodles! Really quick to say hi and leave us a thumb up. Thank you so much, Oodles and Caboodles. Hey, you should enter the giveaway really quick uh, because regardless of if you're here or not, um, you still have a chance to win the giveaway. And there's a link in the description. So if you want to just really quick pop in, enter the giveaway, just fill out the form uh, just for a chance to win. You totally can. Uh, and again, please like this video down below. Subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing another giveaway next live stream if this video gets enough likes. So. We're aiming for uh, 250. We're upping it again from last week because you you completed last week's liking uh, goal. So that's is the second giveaway in a row already. But let's see if we can get to three. Let's see. There we go. Um, I'll go ahead and like this video too on my own accounts here to help out. Oh my God, Cooper, I so have a problem with unfinished projects. Yes, absolutely. And I, I have a feeling you're not the only one that has a problem with unfinished projects. It's just, it's easy to not finish a project. Like truthfully, that's what, that's the answer to it and it's really hard to come back to it in my opinion um okay we need an invisible decrease here this music's interesting feels like we're like i don't know i don't know i don't know feels like we're in like a like a tiki bar or something um, I'm not gonna do we could do the perfect stripe method here to make a really clean stripe, but whatever Whatever, let's just do it the easy way one Two And then invisible decrease And another two in it Oops, that is going to be on me. You're totally right. It definitely does link to last week's giveaway. Uh, I'm so sorry. That is totally my fault. Um, I can fix that in a second. One second. One, two, invisible decrease. One, two, invisible, right? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, that's actually, yeah, that's definitely my fault. One second. Thank you for letting me know, Ivy. I thought I fixed it. Oh, oh, never mind. I didn't, I didn't mess it up. Uh, Cooper is right. I, it's, it's that your links are cached uh, because I changed the link, and yeah. So it's only kind of on my fault. <laughs> uh, but Cooper posted a direct link to the form uh, in the chat. So if you want to use that link that Cooper posted, uh, it might make it a little bit easier. Very Super Mario Sunshine vibes. For sure. Okay. I'm just gonna straight up change to colors to 
to their teal instead of doing like some fancy color change thing. Just because whatever. I did have a goal today to like, I wanted to try to record the process of me doing this for a um, YouTube short, but I was trying to set up my camera. So here, I'll show you actually, because this is, I, I don't know, maybe it's interesting, maybe it's not. Um, I was trying to like basically two birds, one stone the live stream by adding a secondary uh, camera. Like, here it is. So I have my a second iPhone here that I was gonna use. And I was gonna like connect it to this and like so it would be like right under the camera so that I could like record, you know, like a YouTube short while we were going. Cause I thought it'd be kind of fun cause you could be involved in the YouTube short and then you could like actually see the stuff. I don't know, I just thought it was kind of fun. But the weight of the camera was pulling down the main camera so much and it was like in the middle of my hands and it just wasn't gonna work out. So. I do still want to do it. I just don't know how yet. I'm trying to figure out the best way to set up a camera where it's not going to be in my face too much while I crochet in the live streams, but still that way we could still do this like, you know, kind of two birds, one stone thing. Um, also, I just think it'd be kind of fun, fun challenge. Let me know if you have any ideas. Um, we're going to, I'm going to use this to stuff in these ends too. Feels like I'm in Disneyland. Actually, we're gonna use this stick instead. It might be a little bit easier. Are people finding the trolls around the neighborhood? Yes, they are very much. They are very much finding them. I went there last night to Gobland. Um, there's actually no trolls there yet. That's all been goblins. Um, but I went there last night, uh, right before sundown, and someone had accidentally broken the. Um, the overhang for them. I think there was there's this little kid uh, that likes to play with them, and I think she broke it all. And so I fixed it the best I could in like the short amount of time that I was there. But I left a little sign. I kind of felt bad. I left a little sign that said, um, "Look, don't touch. Very fragile." Because it right now it is like extremely fragile. A little touch could break the whole thing. So, <laughs> because I only had like so long to fix it. Um, so I'm planning on going back there. Um, tonight after the live stream fixing it up a little bit more making it a little bit more sturdy and then um, uh, And then starting to put my focus elsewhere for the Gobland maybe a little higher up so that people don't you know touch it and mess with it as much um, so yeah, but yeah, that is the that's the basic update for um, Gobland so far And if anybody has any questions on what the heck I'm talking about, uh, let me know in the chat and I'll, I'll give you the, the elevator pitch. Elevator pitch? What is my favorite river? Ooh, what's my favorite river? I don't think I've ever been asked that. Let's see. My favorite river. Hmm. What an interesting question. I don't know if I have a favorite river. I did go, okay, so this weekend I went to Portland um, on a, just a quick turnaround trip with uh, me and Jules. We went uh, to go visit some friends that live in Portland. Um, actually, you, you'll you know some of the work from one of my friends, um, Dominic, who uh, is the one that I, we went to go visit. Uh, he's the one that did the art for the little pigeons, so the Church of Perch art and uh, lava run art, stuff like that. Um, and uh, yeah, so we went up there. I, I kind of like, I was, my like excuse was that I need, I needed his help making the future pins for next season and the season after. Um, but I also just, you know, we also kind of just wanted to hang out and see Portland. So we went to Portland really quick. Um, Sorry, I thought I found a mistake in the pattern, but it was not a mistake. Um, and we floated down a river, actually. I don't know the name of the river. It wasn't the Sandy River. I know that. It was a different one. 
And the only reason I know that is because they kept bringing up that, like, the Sandy River is so cool. Uh, but I like that river, whatever river we floated down. But I don't know the name of it, honestly. Jules might. Did I ever think about... Doing some little carts and baskets for the goblin so they can go and collect acorns and stuff. Oh, that would be cute. Oh, that's a really good idea. Maybe like like back baskets, like you know, like a like so they're like carrying a giant basket on their back. I think that would be really cute. I wonder if I could find a very simple tutorial on how to make one of those like a simple basket using. Well, I guess I could crochet one. Yeah, I guess I could crochet one actually. That that probably be the easiest way to do it. Okay, there is one round here. This round is a little difficult because it's such a tiny, such tiny stitching that I need to be very careful as I do it. Oh, Tegan entered the giveaway. Thanks, Tegan. Good luck. Yeah, highly recommended Ivy to hide a bunch of crocheted things around your office. It it. It's a lot of fun. Oh, Ivy, you also asked about um, Pikmin Go. Um, so me, or Pikmin Bloom. Me, Ivy, Cooper, and uh, Witchy Boy, and uh, Cat Ethic Crafts, I think. We all have um, this little crew on Pikmin Bloom uh, that we've been doing like walks and planting flowers and stuff. By the way, I've been kicking butt Ivy on my flowers. I don't know if you noticed, but I have planted like our goal for the week, I think, as a as a crew, is to plant thirty thousand flowers, and I've already planted over fifteen thousand myself. And there's it's supposed to be split up between like five of us, I think. I've been I've been really pulling the weight there. Just not gonna lie, a little dust off my shoulders there. Um, <laughs> but I haven't gotten I I've only gotten one of the mahjong pieces uh, so far because I keep missing, I keep messing up my, my like spin thing. You know what, that probably doesn't make a lot of sense to a lot of people, but yeah. Yeah, how the heck do I plant so many dang flowers? I just go on walks and it's like what I do on my walk, you know, I'm like paying attention and I, I just, yeah, I just, I like, I like playing on the app. It gets me, it gets me walking a lot. Highly suggested if anybody's looking for an app to give them like a little bit more uh, encouragement to get outside and go on walks, Pikmin Bloom is is really fun. Uh, they've made a lot of progress since they first came out with it. It's essentially kind of like remember Pokemon Go, the one where it was like the app, and then you like played Pokemon like in like VR or not VR but like AR and stuff. It's kind of like that, but a lot more simplified. You basically just plant flowers and uh, and. Um, grow Pikmin it's really it's a very simple game uh, but it does get me outside quite a lot Ooh. wait and Ooh. Ooh. could have been a bad back crack um, Mickey Cricky gotta go thanks for joining Mickey Cricky it's always nice to see you hope you're doing well chat soon uh, Five Worlds Explorer, Cosmo, uh, how do you enter the giveaway? Uh, there should be a link in the description of this video uh, that says giveaway link there. Um, if that one doesn't work, you can uh, look for in the chat. Cooper has been posting uh, a direct link to the form. You could use that as well. Um, but yes, either option will work for entering the giveaway. And we'll announce the winner, by the way, at the end of the live stream. Uh, um, oh, I don't think I actually completely discussed the Club Crochet Challenge for this season. Or five. Uh, so if anybody is interested in entering the Club Crochet Challenge, uh, the goal this season is to crochet an octopus or squid or any kind of cephalopod. So I think that also includes like cuttlefish, stuff like that. Um, but give it a job. That is the prompt. Uh, a cuddle f or a, a cephalopod with a career is how I said it in the uh, on the website. So if you want to enter to win, all you need to do 
is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we are on our last round here. Um, all you need to do is crochet an octopus or squid. You can use my pattern or someone else's pattern. Uh, it doesn't matter the pattern. Just make sure to um, to tag the creator of the pattern in your post if you post it on Instagram, or, or if you post it on Discord, make sure to mention the the author so that if other people want to get their pattern, they can. Um, you can also use my free octopus pattern for this as well. Uh, but the real goal here is you want to give your cephalopod a career and you can signify that in a bunch of different ways. You can either add a hat or maybe a tool that you're, they're using. So like if they, their career was professional baseball player or whatever, like an octopus was a professional baseball player, maybe you make a little baseball bat or a little baseball hat. Um, but yeah, give your cephalopod a career. That is the goal. Does it have to have a hat? No, it doesn't. You can you can also signify what the cur career is with like a backdrop. If you want to put them in a specific location, maybe they're behind a desk at a at a computer, or maybe they're behind a like they're a barista and they're behind a coffee cup, or they're in a coffee cup. Um, there's yeah, just be creative. We're looking for creativity for sure. Um, Cooper's link should work if you want to enter the uh, giveaway. Can you enter your own pattern for the challenge? Absolutely, Constant Crochet. If you want to go for your own pattern, I highly, highly encourage that. That would be way, way cool. I'd love to see that. Can you do a dancing, a dancer octopus? Yeah, if you want to, you definitely can. Go for it. I'm very curious of what that, lo <laughs> that looks like. Um, okay, I believe this is Yeah, that's the right length for our fishing rod. Let's go ahead and slip stitch here and Continue on to our next part uh, There we go um, actually before I continue on to the next part we do want to make uh, we want to customize our squid here um, for Julie so we want to try to make Julie wants us to try to make um swimming goggles let's why don't we do a little google search here we're looking for sunglasses or swimming goggles let's see i think sunglasses might be a little easier but i'm not sure actually swimming goggles don't look too tough and we have the cyan already why don't we try that we'll try swimming goggles first um I don't know if necessary. Well, whatever. I was gonna say I don't know if I want to use this yarn from the kit, but whatever. It's it's fine. Um, we'll use this and I guess black. Yeah, let's use that. Let's give this a shot. So I think the way I would make swimming goggles. We're just we're making this up as we go. I do not know what I'm doing yet, um, but we're trying to add swimming goggles to our little uh, squid here, and let's give it a shot. think let's see um images because their swimming goggles are gonna have to be separated i'll we'll have to do a big oval too actually let's do it like this one and we'll, I, actually, let's do purple. We're gonna, I'm gonna do purple for the swimming goggles. Like cyan and purple. So we'll go like this, maybe. Change colors like right away. Cuddle everything in. And I think we'll do one single, then we'll do a half. Cause I wanna make it like kind of an, oblong shape let's give this a shot let's do a two half double crochets because we need the goggles to be big enough to fit over the eyes too is our goal okay, you know we'll do two singles another two half doubles. I think this will give it kind of an oblong shape, hopefully. A 
we'll see. We'll see. One, two, three. That's pretty good. Another half. And then a single. And then we'll slip stitch in purple to connect everything together. Okay, pull it tight. See, so it's supposed to be an oval like, oval like that. I don't know if this will look like swimming goggles. Eh, actually, it might, especially if I give it like a little white so that it looks like it's shiny. It might work. It could work. Let us find out. The slip stitch here in purple. That's pretty good. So it's like that, right? Like this. We'll, I'm just going to hide this end in. This end we'll just cut close like that. We're going to connect things with chains later, so I don't need to worry too much about like making a, a simple way to connect them. Let's try like just like this. So here's the idea, right? Two of these, one and another one right there, and then connect it with chains, and then connect it along the back with chains, two, and then add a little bit of shimmer to it, and then it can be a removable goggles. I don't know if it'll look totally like goggles, but it, it might, it might. We'll give, we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. Let's let's make another one of those. Taking a solid break to make this. That's okay. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Julie. Yeah, so I'm thinking if I do like half color change there again, I put this purple. We might not even be able to do this without cutting this yarn and instead just connecting it all together, but I'm not sure if that'll work yet. It might be a little easier not to do it that way, but we will find out. Okay, so we do one single and then a half because we're trying to get that oblong shape. Another half. And then regular single. Right? Another single. It's kind of hard to do this. It's it, actually, it is, it's really hard to do color changes in the magic loop very tricky little technique because there's a lot of moving parts here but you know it's working okay that oh yeah we definitely need to cut because I need to hide this end in correctly so we will need to cut it unfortunately okay well, that's all right Do a slip stitch here. Like that. Yeah, because we see, because we need to hide this end in a similar way, so it needed to be cut. Oh, my dad's in the chat. Hi, Dad. Hello, Pops. Oh, 
Hopefully I didn't cut that too short. I might have. I was gonna text you earlier, Dad, because I was getting breakfast at that one diner that we go that we went to that one time, the omelet place, but I realized I needed to make it really quick, so I was just like a quick little there and back. And I figured I'm gonna see you for dinner anyhow. Okay. All right, so here is our two goggle head uh, tops. We still might want to add some like white lines to give it some flourish, but here's our idea. Like that, we connect them together with a chain and then we connect them all the way around the back to connect to the back. Uh, you can, yeah, you can come by, I think really quick i mean i i can't yes you can come by real quick to say hi i i just you know i can't come get to the door and jules is working but we can make it we can make it work just make it quick because we're gonna be done with the live stream soon anyhow Are you are you at the the museum right now? My dad works uh, as a blacksmith at the museum right down the street from here. Actually, it's very it's very cool. Um, okay, let's just go ahead and I'm just gonna cut these. Hopefully, things don't come apart. There's a non-zero possibility that things do come apart, but whatever. You know what? Risk it for the biscuit. Uh, we need white yarn for the, the little tiny bit of white yarn for the shimmer of the goggles. Oh, we could do yellow straps. I was going to do a purple strap, but you know, we could do the purple strap here connecting this and then a yellow strap around the back, maybe? That could work. Um, you know what, maybe I should do the connections before I add the white, just because. Uh, yes, just because. So we'll start with the purple strappies. to this one you know it'd be a lot easier not to connect it or not to do a different color for the other for the other strap so I'm gonna just do this color and we're gonna connect it right right here let's see if this works Um, okay, Dad, I suggest you probably text Jules because she'll be able to open the door for you when you get here. You know what? I'm going to slip stitch back across, actually. Like this. You know? So that way it's a little bit thicker there. Like that. Uh, and then do I connect and then go all the way across? Eh. Yeah, let's do it. We're gonna go. Hopefully, this doesn't make it too crazy, though. <laughs> I 
does make it look a little crazy. It's kind of hard to tell what's going on here. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I don't think we, I think we'll do a different strap, but that's okay. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna cut this end. And then we could do our yellow strap too, so it'll be a different color. I think I'll just hide these two ends in to the back. This is becoming much bigger of a project than I was planning on, but you know, whatever. It's kind of fun. essentially just trying to hide these ends so they don't get in the way. It's going to be kind of a mess in the back, but that's all right. You know, so we got this. Like that. I think I just heard my dad get here. Oh, yep. Be ready to meet my pops. I don't know if any of you have even, I don't think you've ever seen what he looks like. I don't think he's ever been on a live stream before. It's gonna be interesting. We're gonna cut this here. And the last part that we wanna do, because this, this works, right? The last part we wanna do is do a strap along the outside. And I think the strap's gonna have to be from right here and then connect it back down to here too. And we're gonna try yellow, right? Like this. Well, we'll finish this in just a second. Hello! Here, I'll switch cameras for you. I think this will be a good camera. Let's see, there we go. Stand right here. There you go. Oh, You're on right. camera. Right there. This is the camera. That There's one. the microphone. Hi, everyone. This I is my dad, and this is my cat. This is my dad, and this is my cat. No. <laughs> I just wanted to quick stop by and say hi. Okay, well, so hi. So see my face. Yeah. He's the one that... By the way, I don't know if you... I. Oh, yeah, you can't see in the camera. He made this. It turned out good, too. Yeah, it, turned, it looks beautiful. Okay. It looks beautiful. Um, I'm going to pick up the... Oh, you just came back up. real quick to, to get that? Yeah. Okay, yeah. do you know how to get... Is No, it's not. One second, guys. I'll be right back. Oh, you don't have to. No, it's okay. I just need to get you set up real quick. I'll be right, right back. Okay, he's gonna figure it out. Thank you for guys for your patience. Uh, but yeah, that was my dad. <laughs> that was really quick. Just, I know, right Jimbo? He just popped in real quick to say hi, and then he left you. You always wondered where Jimbo got his good looks from. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> that was funny. He's funny. Um, okay, we're gonna make this strap we're gonna try making it in yellow no promises four five we're gonna go all the way around the back twelve fifteen i think that might be enough let's see 
All right, so we're gonna go all the way across. Oh, it's actually too much. We're gonna connect right there. Actually, those kind of do look like goggles. They're a little big for them, but I mean, they work. One, two, three. I think that's probably enough. We want it to be somewhat tight, you know? We don't want it to fall off their little squid heads. Yeah, Jimbo, what's up? Jimbo's being very talkative right now. Which is great for a live stream. <laughs> He's always talkative, though, let's be honest. All right, so we're going to connect it to right down here somewhere right here like that and then I'm just gonna actually yeah we're just going to oops the yarn got on the wrong side oh whatever we're just gonna make this work and we'll fix it We'll fix it later. One. So I'm just going to slip stitch back around. I think this makes sense. Hopefully this doesn't look too goofy. This feels like it's worth a $10 tip, right? <laughs> I Honestly, I think that, yes. Yes. What's up, Jimbo? Are you, are you trying to eat this yarn? Yes, you are. Not edible. Inedible yarn. Hey. There we go. All right. Cut the end. Boom, boom. Pull it through. And we just need to hide these two ends in and then hopefully it will get around Yes. Oh, totally. Okay, so we just need a few last things here for these goggles. We need to hide these two ends in. And then, I mean, it <laughs> it's a little funky. Like, let's be honest. But whatever, it works. Go ahead, we'll hide this end in real quick. Oh, perfect timing, Jimbo. It was perfect with the music. Yeah, you're you're very talented. You're welcome. What? Oh. Well, why didn't you say something? You did? When did you tell me? It's fun to pretend to have conversations with my cat. And definitely not weird. Right? Don't answer that. There we go. Okay. We're just going to cut these two ones in. One. Two. It's a dang mess in the back of these goggles. Okay, last little, 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 little thing. I really think this will give it just a little bit more of a, like, oh, they're goggles, you know? I think. You're going to find out. Just a little shimmer. Hey, don't, don't do that. There we go. Just like that. Okay, so it's like a little bit more goggly. We'll do the same over there. I think this is gonna work. First time crocheting goggles. Just for you, Jolie. Do this the other shimmer here's a little 
Here's a little tip for you. Shimmer should be on the same spot for both eyes and both sides of like glasses and stuff. Because the sun's coming from the same position. So if I put the shimmer on this side and on that side, it wouldn't really make sense. But if they're on the same side, then it's like the shine is coming from the same area. Does that make any sense? Or did I just shout complete gibberish? That's for you to decide. Okay. All right, we've spent enough time on these goggles. Let's go ahead, get them on, and then check it out. Okay, let's see what we got here. Moment of truth. First, I need to do that with them. I think that sh the shimmer was a really good move. Okay, what do we think, Julie? Worthwhile? <laughs> Looks funny. He, he do it, I mean, they look like goggles, right? But they kind of look more like they're like snowboarding goggles, maybe? Or something? <laughs> like, they're very big. But you know what? They work and they're removable. We're gonna call that a win. Shukshoish. Okay, back to crocheting. Are we missing a long tooth? Oh no, here it is. Okay, back to crocheting. We're making now the. Um. Do, oh, for the club crochet challenges, your Instagram profile have to be public. It is. It is going to be very difficult for me to see it if it's not public. Um. Uh, but if you uh, are you're a little worried about it, um, just email me it. Uh, like, uh, take a screenshot of it and email me it. Maybe, um, yeah. Yeah, right. The squid wants to explore the the Alps. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> All right, we're making the inside of the mouth now, which I think was going to be the end of the stuff that we want to add for today's live stream and then we can save the rest of it for next week um including the whole you know sewing together part and whatnot i'm going i'm going and grabbing all of our extra thread and stuff and just balling it into something so that we have something to stuff our character up with way later we'll put that off to the side and start making the mouth Hey, thank you for the little hearts, whoever's doing that. I appreciate it. Three. This part's going to be hard to see on camera, but we're going to make it anyhow. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We might also want to add a gold tooth today because we had talked about doing a gold tooth, and I think that is kind of a fun idea. Oh my god, maybe we could do like a gold tooth and like maybe we could do like a face tattoo. Like a little teardrop tattoo or something. Or like a, uh, I don't know. We could do something fun. That could be really funny. Two and then two here. Okay. Hey, nerdy artist, how you doing? Welcome to the live stream. I think I might just, ah, eh, we'll leave this long, this tail in long, just in case we need it. I don't think I need it, but it's worth, a, it's worth a, you know, better safe than sorry, I should say. Okay, I think that was three, right? One. 
two, three, and then we do it backwards. Okay, next we want to do, all right, increasing up again. Cool. Halloween chibi characters, cute. Is Jimbo in a spot? No, he's not. Okay, one, two, increase. Increase. Interesting. It's interesting to see how Surf Pearl Grade does shaping. I mean, even though I've made this pattern a bunch of times, it's still I still like learn something new when I when I make them. You know, I still like look at it and I go like, huh, interesting. Why did he do that? You know. Basically what he's doing here is he's making it so like this part's longer than this part. So it's kind of got like a little bit of an oval, like a triangle shape, you see? So it's like a little bit higher up there than is there. I think the goal is to make it so it like folds in half like, I would think that it would fold in half like that, but it would be awkward. So I think it folds in half like this. Oh, yes, definitely, because the bottom of the mouth and the top of the mouth. So it's going to be like that. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Teardrops means they unalive. I mean, let's be honest. An anglerfish probably did unalive a few, a few someones. I don't think these teeth are, are there for aesthetics. I don't know. Just thought. Um, okay. Yes, Jimbo. Hi. This is our last round, buddy, for the mouth. Yeah. Jimbo, Jimbo, what? Can you hear him? He's headbutting me. Hey. Come here. You want to say hi? Come here. Ugh. You just want attention? You want to say hi to the, the chat? You just want to kiss me? Or do you want to bite me? There we go. Here, let's switch cameras so that everybody can see how beautiful you are. Why wow, look at this beautiful boy. This is what he wants. This is this all you want? You are so content right now. What? Yeah. What? Tell them. They need to know. Hey, hey, no bite in my face. No bite in the face. Okay, I gotta get back to work, okay? We're almost done. Are you good? Thank you. Wow, so sweet. Why don't we go lay down? Lay down. Nope, nope, don't chase me. Nope. Nope. Oh boy, this is gonna be a problem. Dude, we're like so close to being done for the for the stream. And we gotta do the giveaway though and stuff like that still. So you gotta just be patient with me, bud. It's furry baby, yes. Yes, he is a furry little baby. And he is biting the black yarn and getting slobber all over it. See, look at how slobbery it is. It's literally, 
Look at that. That's gross, Jimbo. Got your cat spit all over it. You're going to turn our anglerfish into a catfish. No, he doesn't really bite. He just, like, kind of nibbles. Kind of like goes, ha, ha, ha. It's like his, he does little, he gives little, like, love bites is what we call them. I think this is our last stitch right there. Yes, so this is the top, this is the bottom, like that. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, cool. So we're just gonna slip stitch right here. Cut the yarn. I guess we do want a pretty long end because we want to sew it onto the body. But that's probably pretty good. And we'll just pull it all the way through. And yeah, I think that's pretty good. Let's see, could we do... Okay, let's, let's go ahead and we'll call it there. It is a pretty good ending point for our anglerfish, my friend. We have, we have all the pieces done except for the body itself. So next week, all we need to do, Jimbo, if you want to be part of this, all we need to do for our anglerfish next week is we'll need to make, so we've got, we, let's see, we've got the, the, the um, fishing lure, we've got our seven large teeth, this, we've got our five small teeth here, we've got our inside of our mouth, dude, no, he's trying to unplug the live stream now. We've got our two small fins and we've got our one large fin. So next week, all we need to do is we need to make the body, sew everything together and add the face and stuff. And then if we have enough time, we'll add a hat or something to our anglerfish. Um, yeah, I think that's correct. I think I said everything right. Okay, guys, let's pick a winner for the giveaway. And we'll put the donations in the bowl. Let's start with that, actually. We'll start with donations in the bowl. Uh, and give you a chance to enter the giveaway. So if you still want to enter the giveaway, enter now or forever hold your peace. Okay. Here is our beautiful bowl. Let's put these guys around. Okay. So our new additions. Tina, thank you so much for your support. Cooper, look at your little eyebrow boy. Look at him. He's so cute. We're going to add that in. That one's actually a pretty big one. And then, of course, Julie, thank you so much for your support. Look at those beautiful goggles. Wow. Gorgeous. Perfect. Put them right there. Thank you guys for your support. Boom. Okay. And then the last bit today is our giveaway. Who will be winning our adorable little pin. Look at how cool this pin is. I'm so happy with that design. I can't wait to show you guys next season's designs, by the way. Um, I've been working with it with uh, one of my artist friends. We've been working on keychain designs. They look so cool. I'm very, I'm not keychains, uh, pin designs. So I'm very excited about that. Um, I don't think anglerfish have tongues, Jenny. I'm not sure. Drum roll. Okay, so we're gonna choose a winner at random for the Google form. Where do we find it? Right here. Whoa, 
We have a lot of entries, way more entries than last time. That's crazy. Okay. Responses, we are gonna stop accepting responses, make it in a spreadsheet, and then we're gonna choose a winner at random. 150 entries. Last, time, last giveaway was only 50 entries, so you can see that is quite a lot more. Okay. Random number generator coming at ya. Okay. All right, so the winner of today's giveaway is, press the heart button a bunch, press the little congratulation button a bunch. Trixie the cat, AKA Henry, Henry, Thank you so much. Congratulations. You have won a an adorable little uh, enamel pin for our new seasonal crochet kits. Thank you so much, Henry. I will be emailing you after this live stream to... Uh, uh, ooh, big sneeze. Uh, to uh, find out where to send this. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining today's live stream. Thank you for being uh, a fun part of it uh we'll finish up our anglerfish next week same time same place so we'll be back at next friday which is what's the date next friday i don't un not in spanish say it in english okay august august what you don't know okay wait so if it's the 18th today what's seven plus 18 yeah you're you're right you're not good at math let's see 7 plus 18 is 25th. Yeah. Yeah. August 25th, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time next Friday. Uh, same time, same place. Uh, I'm going to actually get it into the, uh, onto the YouTube, um, onto my like YouTube subscription thing pretty, pretty quick. So when it comes up, if you want to hit the little bell icon so you don't miss it when, uh, so it notifies you when we're live. Uh, that'd be great. Otherwise, um, we'll also be sending out an email to let you know when it comes out and stuff like that. Guys, thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed this live stream as much as I did. Uh, and yeah, I hope your day is as wonderful as you are. And pasta la pizza, happy hooking. And what else, Jimbo? Do you want to say anything else? He's, he's literally licking his butt right now really getting in there it's it's really gross uh <laughs> pasta pizza happy hooking and oh my god stop no you hang up oh my god stop it you're making me blush no don't oh my god you hang up first no you hang up first no you hang up first no you jimbo hang up no you hang up what? You didn't say it loud enough. Say it louder so that everybody can hear you all the way in the back. Say it. Louder. Yeah? Oh. Anything else? Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. That's enough. Last one. Okay. Great. <laughs> all right. Bye, everybody.